Hello and welcome back to day 51 of How to Fix the World in 80 Days. And today we're talking about the future. When most people think of the future, they're wondering, where am I going to work? Am I going to get married? What are my retirement plans? But rarely do we think about the future of humanity itself. I mean, once we're gone, does it even really matter anyway? So there's really two ways to look at that. You can one, live for yourself, ignore everyone coming after you, or you can two, sacrifice some of the niceties of your life so that future generations will have an easier go. You know, take shorter showers, eat less meat, that kind of stuff. Now I can understand why a lot of people would choose option one. I mean, look what the past left us. Climate change, war, poverty, all awful things. Much of it very avoidable. I mean, we only really did that because it was easy and because it made us rich. So why should we be any different? Well, I'm sure there are many right answers to that question, but the one that works for me is if you love someone, and I mean like even just a little bit, wouldn't you want to leave them with a planet that is both hospitable and peaceful? How can you do that if you only care about yourself? So does all that mean for a better future I have to sacrifice everything I enjoy? All the little things like eating steak, driving my car, taking longer showers? Well, maybe, but not necessarily. Sure, we all care about the future, but if we're not having fun today, if we're not building a society that people actually want to live in, then what was the point in the first place? I mean, I don't want to just survive, I want to thrive. So for me, building a better future isn't just about sacrifices, it's about finding a balance between instant gratification and sustainable development. So how would you find that balance? Well, you can only really do it for yourself. A lot of people will tell you you need to do this or you need to do that to save the future generations, but the truth is they don't really know either. We all do share this one planet, but clearly we're not willing or able to make the same changes. And that's okay, you do need to live your best life. But here's what I can guarantee you. If you don't at least think about the future, I guarantee it will not be better than the past. And I have a lot of respect for my ancestors, don't get me wrong, but I'll be damned if I don't leave this place in a better shape than when I got here. Now, I don't quite yet know what better is supposed to look like, but I'm definitely looking forward to finding out.